<laughs> what it do ladies and gentlemen this right here is Heimdo this is a pretty boy ex marigold son this right here is brother an older brother to the puppies that I have available big shout out to Roderick for picking up fifth pick male but this right here I've been he's been putting in work I done bred him to three different females just got finished cleaning his kennel give him some water giving him food uh, so I bred them to a, uh, I bred them to two cousins, and the third female I bred them to is his half sister. So I bred him to a lot of closely related uh, bloodlines. Those, those who've been following my dogs, pretty much, man. At this point, I, I just have two different separate families. All my bloodlines are crossing, um, are connected somehow or another. Um, so he's going to definitely be a big part. Just because he's far away, but close enough at the same time. Uh, so pretty much, you know, I got, I got, a, I got a couple more combinations I can do, and then I'm gonna have to start using. But that's perfect because I have about 12 studs that I have locked in that I'm gonna have to start incorporating back into my program because my stuff is gonna be is too is gonna be way too close by next year. This year I still have a couple combinations I can do. Um, but like I said, I have two major families right now that everybody's linked to. Either somebody's linked to, you know, the lucky side or somebody's linked to the El Toro side. Him right here, he connected the El Toro and the Trumper side. Um, um, well, no, I take that back. I do have another combination I can do and then bring it right back in, which is the Louis V side. Um, I forgot about that. So, uh... But even them, see, I can, I can, I, I'd have to. What I have to do is, I'd have to take that, that, that Louis V blood, because the Louis V blood is heavily bred in with the Lucky blood. So I have to take the heavy Louis V blood, bring it to my, my El Toro blood, and then I can outcross it again. But I can't, you know, breed my Lucky blood back into my Louis V blood because it's too tight. It's all, it's too tight. So I'm gonna have to outcross it. But anyway, so I just kind of let me get in here and show y'all. He's super friendly. Uh beautiful beautiful bro he's so oh my goodness but i just want to get a top shot of him come here boy so now when he sees me man he he, he goes crazy just because he knows you know i'm about to bring in a female that's what he's waiting for i've been bringing him a female every other day but uh Look, look, look how compact he is. Beautiful top line, beautiful fronts. He's got cheeks for days, short muzzle, compact thick. Love his fronts. He's got chest. He's got mass. He's got muscle. Bruh, this dude right here, I'm in love with. Hondo. Come on, boy. Got my stuff. Hondo. Top shot up. But yeah, so pretty much I have uh, four males available off of the same breed that produced him. This is a Marigold and Pretty Boy. Marigold is inbred Champ Lucky Luciano. She's a lilac try. All the puppies carry color. He carries color. That's another part why he's a big, gonna be a big part of my program. I'm taking him to all my, all my lilac females, which are two times Lucky Luciano, are going to him. So I outcross the two times Lucky with the El Toro and the Chumper, and. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's his pedigree. So uh, then I'll bring this back in. Once I bring this back into the Lucky Blood, them pups are done. There's no crisscrossing. There's nothing I can do with that particular bloodline. It's over with. Because either way, I go on, the, on my, my big bloodlines, he's connected. Um, but, uh, but, uh, so yeah, my blood, it took, I want to say it took... Also, you got to understand, I used like six or seven or eight different studs. Um, it took 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Dang. It took 16 It took six years for my blood to, to get to the point where, where now, you know, it's very selective. But then again, the studs that I kept, I, had, I have no studs off of Chumper. Um, I do off of El Toro. I have no studs off of Ritz. I have no studs off of Futuristic. I, I sold a lot of my studs that I that I had. I kept him, of course, Pretty Boy off of Red Bull. I kept Gentleman Jack off of Guap. I kept Guap off of Mars. Mr. 45 off of Lucky. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like my the, the studs that I'm using, I can take them to different females and I can outcross and in cross. And that's what I've been doing for years. 
but at this point man i'm, I'm by next year i'm gonna have to outcross so but it's all good you know i ain't tripping i'm just saying though uh the best of the two bloods have created hondo because yeah and and i and yeah so the two most consistent bloodlines that I've used, because I have used Ritz Sons, I had Ritz Sons, I have used Futuristic Sons, I had them, but over the years I sold them. So I don't, I don't have access to them anymore. But I do have access to these boys. So this right here, like I said, is the brother to the puppies I have available. I have first through fourth pick. It's, it, they range from 3300 to 3750 Shipping is an extra 550 depending on where you're located it could be cheaper it could be more but average is 550 um all their ear crops are included so you ain't got to worry about that i charge an extra 300 uh on the on the on the bottom half of the picks and then um they've all had their first shot they'll be getting their second shot here in less than three weeks um uh i'm located in kentucky so if uh you need shipping like i said it's extra 550 you're more than welcome to come pick them up in person um what else what else you can text me at 270-317-1952 to lock them in um they are abkc paper i have abkc papers in hand um like i said they're color carriers and those that know lucky does not carry color neither does el toro and see that's why another good thing about my bloodline that i did from the beginning i bred lucky straight to a lilac try i bred el toro straight to a chocolate try twice um so you know uh they carry color um and then straight up pretty boy's mama i'm sorry hondo's mama right here is marigold a lilac try off of an inbred lucky luciano breeding that i bred a niece to i'm sorry an aunt to a nephew to produce um marigold there we go i'm, I'm tripping see i didn't have no studs off of that either uh but or i sold them all but um uh so yeah so this right here is my pride and joy for real this right here is all my years of hard work um those that have been following me for a long time know um you know because i kind of bring it up of course come on man that's my that's my that's my um that's my uh that's my trump card that's what i've been working from day one of course i'm gonna talk about it constantly you know i know color's not everything but boy i love me some color on somebody and this boy right here came out the same color as el toro black uh uh, black try with uh, light tan points. Also, uh, a lot of people don't know El Toro was a freaking standard. If you like pockets, he's a, he's huge. He's huge. So I like tiny, short little dogs, and that's exactly what Honda is. El Toro is a lot bigger. El Toro is a standard. El Toro is about 17 inches at the withers. He may be a little bit bigger. I've seen him in person several times. Bred to him in person once. Or did I bred to him in person twice. Nope, bred to him in once. Yep, because the other time he was in Mexico. And he, he, he drove across the border just to make sure he could ship El Toro semen to me just in time. And she gave me like nine pups. So Red Bull was one of them. So was Kiana. So was uh, Shotty Lowe. So was, um, uh, I forgot what, what the other chick's name was. No, no, never mind. That wasn't that one. But yeah. But with that being said, girl, go bullet can baby signing off.